In Hamilton, this was another tale that needed extra innings, but this time the Copperhead season was on the line. Early on, the Copperheads gave the Joes extra outs that they turned into a 3-1 to -one lead. Catcher Billy Cribbs talks about the early problems. Luis, he's a good pitcher. He just a little struggle with command today, so I mean, he just got behind a little hitters and they got out to an early lead, so that's what kind of hurt us a little bit. The Snakes' break came thanks to mental errors by the Joes. Southern Ohio regained their comeback mentality and added seven runs in the fifth and sixth. Zach Botcher and Troy Fortin kept the Joes at bay to set the stage for power pitcher Zach Sterling. But the best laid plans of mice and men go off awry. The Joes scored three runs in the bottom of the ninth to tie the game at eight and force extras. Sterling says how the Joes got under his snakeskin. Well, it was pretty easy, to be honest, as a hitter against me, because obviously I'm throwing fastball, but, and they are a good fastball hitting team, so they just hit my pitches, so I tip my hat to them, that's all I can do. Assistant coach Tim Culver gives his perspective on Sterling's struggle. Well, he's been our best, best reliever out of the pen the whole year, second team, all Great Lakes, so he's a really good pitcher, has a bright future ahead of him. Yeah, that's what happens, you know, bumps in the road sometimes, you know, he'll just bounce back. Game three was not to be as a Kyle Weldon right field single sealed the Snakes' season for good. Coach Culver says where the tide turned. I think our guys really hit pretty well tonight. I think we put up, say, 13 hits. 13 hits with eight runs to win a ball game. Did really well offensively, defensively for our position players. Total nightmare. Five errors. Just can't live with five errors. Can't win ball games with five errors. They put up two errors, and I think that's probably the crucial spot in the game. After this summer season, Cribs, Sterling, and Culver offer their best memories. Living in Nelsonville with all the guys, just hanging out. We play video games all day. We play baseball all night. I mean, there's nothing really better than that. I like hanging out with all these guys, to be honest. The greatest group of guys I've ever played summer ball with, so. These guys were all we had. You know, on a positive note, you know, these guys, they got better. You know, I got to see a great second baseman like Ryan Jones that I would never saw if I didn't come all the way out here from the West Coast. Despite an early ending, the Cheds had a successful season, winning 64% of their games to finish 27 and 15. Before my final sign off, I'd like to say thanks to all the players and coaches who contributed to interviews and all the fans and parents who've been a part of my videos. I couldn't have had a better time this summer. Reporting for the Copperheads, I'm Maddie Kuhn.